All right, this is uh, my little testimonial to my car PC, so you guys can have an idea of how I am doing this. Um, this right here is the interface that I use for my car. This is touchscreen, Lily put. I'm using a Roadrunner with digital effects, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it on. Uh, the cool features about this and why I chose this skin. So, um, the first thing is music. Um, you go into browse, and my directory is divided between comedy and music. And then, like for music, I I just have to, you know, just kind of rummage through it and stuff. If I just want to pick, say, um, let's pick cream. Mm. I pick it, I just play selected song. Wrapping paper in the There's the album. If I want to EQ it, I can go in and EQ it with Winamp. So, very, very cool, the features on that. So, um, you can also, if you browse, you can browse by album. You get the cover art and stuff, so... Um, that's a pretty cool feature and then it plays the whole album rather than just selecting the song so um, the other one here's the videos so um, little Seinfeld right here um, you know I have all of mine divided by movies TV shows is if I want to have a movie Long Came Polly so you know, there it goes. You can go through parts of the movie here. So, um, one of the coolest features I think about this program is uh, it w interacts with uh, another software called iGuidance, which I am running. And uh, this is my basically my GPS software. So, you know, you can scroll through the map and find out where locations are. Um, the cool thing about digital effects is it has all these features on the side, full screen, 3D. If I want to switch to this view, I can. If I want to go back, um, you can go to shortcuts. Like if I wanted to find gas stations that were nearby, it just it finds it. So it's probably one of the slickest GPS units I've seen out there. Found all the, you know, and then it just goes. So start driving, but I'm not going anywhere right now, so... Um, next one is Sirius Radio. I'm a big fan of, uh, of Howard Stern. For some reason, uh, the weird thing about this is if you turn your car on and turn it off, like if uh, you stop at the gas station or whatever and then you come back to your car, um, I haven't done the new update of Roadrunner, but for some reason it won't. You have to like exit out of... Um, Roadrunner and then come back to it for it to work right for some reason I don't know why that is um, so and then it'll work right with toast so with toast with extra butter. Extra butter. there you go that's serious radio um, and then you had how many sausages so anyway um, you have games on here that are built in you know bowling yeah. You could do. I mean, I'm not going to do any of this driving and stuff, but it's a cool little feature. Um, you have wireless. Mine's already hooked up right now to to um, my wireless inside my house, so it's it found it. So anyway, you can just browse on to the internet, and then um, once you go from there, this is kind of a little slow for some reason because I haven't opened it yet but um, yeah it's saying that it's page not found I must not be connected but anyway if you have wireless signal you can connect there you have a query keyboard that will let you use um, I'm also using one of these bad boys from Newegg which is a perfect little device in case your computer locks up so 
Anyway, this is my uh, car PC, and if you dig it, hit me up. Thanks.